In this video, we'll be setting up an e-commerce site to sell products, in this case a set of videos. To simplify the process, we'll start with a fresh install of WordPress and we'll use the Suffusion theme and the WP e-commerce plugin. There are of course many variations and settings that can be used in both the theme and the WP e-commerce plugin, depending on your products and e-commerce needs. These settings can be used to add a product to an existing site or to sell a downloadable product. With a fresh install of WordPress, navigate to the Appearance Admin panel and the Themes page. Click on the Install Themes link at the top of the page. In the search field, enter S-U-F-F-U-S-I-O-N and click the search button. The search result will be the Suffusion theme. Click on the Install link and when the Install pop-up appears, click on the Install Now button. This will start the install process. After the install is successful, click the Activate link on the Success screen. This will make the Suffusion theme your active WordPress theme. Now to install the WP eCommerce plugin. Navigate to the Plugins Admin panel and the Add New screen. In the search box, enter WP space E dash C O M M E R C E. Find the WP eCommerce plugin and click the Install Now link. This will start the plugin install. Click Yes to install the plugin. When the plugin installs, click the Activate Plugin button. When the plugin installs, you'll see a yellow warning banner that warns about moving files to the theme folder so any changes will not be overwritten by any upgrades. This is an easy process and can be done with a few clicks. Click the link in the banner. This will take you to the presentation page in the Store Admin panel. On the right side of the page is a column titled Advanced Theme Settings. Select all the boxes in the top of the column and click the Move Template Files button. This will move these WP eCommerce files to your Active Themes folder. Now you have a fully operational eCommerce site and you can add a product and actually check out. But in order to make it functional, you'll need to add a, not only a product, but a link to find the product. What you'll need from here is a product to sell and a way to get paid for the product. Initially, WP eCommerce is set up to accept manual payments, which means an email is sent to the buyer with payment instructions. For now, we'll leave the payment at this setting and add a PayPal account later. To start the store setup, navigate to the Settings Admin Panel and the Store page. Click on the General tab on this page. Choose the Base Country. This is the location of your base operation, and this location is used to calculate any shipping and taxes. Choosing USA will activate a drop-down box for a state to be selected. Now select your target markets. These are the countries where you'll be selling your product. Since this is a product that we can sell to any country, we'll leave these settings as is. Next, select the currency settings for your currency and the currency sign location for formatting. Click the Update button. Now, click the Payments tab. The default setting is Test Gateway. This is a good way to test the site before adding any payment gateways. You can actually use this and can enter payment instructions in the text box to the right and click the Update button. Now to add a product to sell. Navigate to the Products Admin Panel and the Add New screen. Enter a product and a product description. You can add an image at this point also. Now locate the price control module in the right column and enter a price in the price box. Now click the publish button at the top of the column. You now have a product to sell. Now we need to make this product available on the site and we need to activate the shopping cart so a buyer can complete a purchase. Navigate to the appearance admin panel and the widget screen. 
Near the bottom of the available widgets panel is the shopping cart widget. Hold the left mouse key down and click and hold to drag this widget to the sidebar one widget panel, placing it at the top. Now navigate to the appearance admin panel and the menu screen. Since this is a new install, we have not created any menus. We'll be using a menu item to make this product available for purchase. You can also provide a link in a post to the product, like in a product review for instance, instead of making a menu item. Click the plus sign to create a new menu and name it Products Menu and click the Save Menu button. Now click the navigation bar below header and select Products Menu and click the Save button. Now locate the Pages module and click the Products box and click the Add to Menu button. Click the Save Menu button again to save this setting. When a customer clicks on the Products page, they can now place the item in the cart and complete the checkout. Since the shopping cart and the payment processing work, we can now start adding details and formatting to make the site look and act like we want. One of the easiest payment gateways to add is PayPal Standard Payment. You'll need a business PayPal account to use this feature. Navigate to the Settings Admin Panel and the Store screen. Click on the Payment. Uncheck the Test Gateway and check the PayPal Payment Standard 2.0 and click the Update button. Hover the mouse pointer over the PayPal Payment Standard line and click on the Edit link. This will activate the column for adding the PayPal information. Enter a name that your customer will recognize when making a purchase, and then enter your PayPal username. Click the Update button. This will activate this payment setting. Now when a customer clicks on the Purchase button, they'll be taken to the PayPal Order Summary screen to complete the purchase. This installation was done with a minimum number of changes made to the theme and the plugin. There is much more to this plugin than this short demonstration can show. For a complete set of videos explaining all the settings for the WP eCommerce plugin, please visit onscreencast.com. These videos include selling physical products, adding PayPal Pro, setting up a sandbox account for testing as a buyer or a seller for PayPal and Google, settings to collect taxes, formatting the shopping cart, editing the checkout form, setting different shipping rates, creating coupons, and designing the look of the site, and much, much more.